Hello there ladies and gentlemen, love and free free here, welcoming you back to my playthrough, not TFS's playthrough, my playthrough of Fallout 4. Last we left, we said we were going to talk to these guys, oh, so here let's do we it. Go. Quiet, you All right, you. Oh, um, what's the issue? So, what's the issue? Have you not listened? This DJ Travis, he's terrible. Makes me want to go back in time and prevent radio from ever being invented. <laughs> but him... It's true. Don't listen to my brother. Someone needs to get rid of him. We need a Whoa. new DJ for the radio. Whoa. I don't Whoa. think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. Um... Horrible idea. That's a horrible idea. I tell you, it would be easier than you think. Kate, fuck you. You just have to talk to. Uh, you just have to talk him into following you out of town. Look, oh. Ivan. That's I enough. Think we know what we're doing. Him isn't serious. <laughs> he doesn't really want to kill Travis. Seems Seems serious. Seems pretty serious to me. No, no, no. He, he was only kidding, right, Vadim? <laughs> Only jokes. Uh, Travis is a good friend. Yet him and I worry about him. Well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job, or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. <gasps> uh... So trying? are you actually trying to do something about it? I tell you, themes that I have planned. He does not believe me. You, you and I work on plan. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. Now, I don't know what you've heard, Fadim, but I ain't that kind of gal. And just to make sure we realize I'm not that kind of gal. I'm going in Nick style. Boom. I don't know why we let Valentine live in the city. He saves one or two people, and everyone forgets he's a freaking sin. Hey, he's a nice guy. All right. You pour any funny stuff? Okay. I got that ready for you. Let's get down to brass tacks. I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my dead. Mm -hmm. Oh, bollocks, I've done it again. Uh, happy to help. I'd be happy to help. Okay, so Travis needs to believe in himself, yes? Yeah. Believe he is capable of more. Yeah. You know what works well for this? Women. <laughs> a bar fight. Oh, Ever okay. Have been in one? <laughs> yeah, I've been in a bar man, fight. I couldn't lay out. Funny, I could say the same thing. Excellent. <gasps> the wall, it talks like Kate. <laughs> Travis win his first fight. Uh, I want to stage fight here in Dugout. What Nothing the fuck to was see. that sound? Uh, His mouth didn't even move. He was like, feels good yeah. about himself after. Like I want you to be there shit. to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? Um. Need more. Gonna need some more information. Okay. I have this all thought out. I have contacts. People I can count on. Real tough looking. But they will take a die for money. They confront Travis here at Dugout. You step in and teach him who she needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough. And Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? Okay, awesome money. If the goons are getting paid to fight, I want some too. All right, fine. You get cut as well. Thank you. 100 cuts. See, I have done oranges before, but I'm assuming I lose the 100 if I don't get. I mean, you know, I'm just gonna. All right, it. I'm in. Ah, I know I could count on you. I have everything ready by six o'clock. Robin should be here by then. You show up, and it will go well. Promise. Okay. All right. So meet Travis and Dag out in after 6 p.m. So I'll tell you what, I'll go outside and wait. I'll the seats out there. Open up Diamond City. Oh yeah, Diamond. 
damn silly. They should hide me the radio. Hello there. My name is Leo, and you're listening to Diamond City Radio. Next up, we have insert name of song here. Wait, can I not wait on this one? I'm gonna be sat in a chair to wait. Let me try this again. God, even the sky is insane. Did you see that blimp thing? The Brotherhood of Steel? Who are they? I've already explained this at the end of the last episode, so I'm not explaining it again. If you want to do that, go back and listen to that episode. Alright, so, six of my blocks, so that'll be ten hours from eight? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, dos, tres, four, five. You read the paper? Okay, six o'clock. Damn sense, hiding among us. Don't bother, pal. I ain't seen nothing, I ain't heard nothing. I wasn't talking to you, brody. Brody? I wasn't talking to you, brody. You brody, Egypt. Good to see you returning customers. I don't like you. <laughs> Most I die. Don't like uh, you let me know if you need a drink. What you gotta do about it? You call it. Wait, what? <clears throat> look, look, I don't want any trouble. Maybe I don't like your little radio program. What you have to say about that? <laughs> can, you just, can you just leave me alone? Maybe I don't like your little radio program. What you have to say about that? Uh, you tell him. You sound like a person. Hey there, pal. Oh, it's you. Oh, it's you? Grow a spine. You need to grow a spine, pal. I, I didn't ask for this. I'm just trying to have a drink. I don't. I have no idea what I did to deserve this. You're a coward. That's what you did. Take Come a stand. Come on, man. Take a stand. Don't chicken out here. I, I don't think I, I could uh, do that. Yes, you can. Things yes, you can, can man. Exciting. With these men, it could, well, it, it, could, it could turn violent. That's the point. Don't be a Don't coward. be such a coward. I'm not a coward. Then quit acting like such a loser. Um, yeah, Kate. Okay, that's... Well, that's enough. Oh, I'm sorry. You say something. I said... I said that's enough. Leave me alone. All right, ladies, put the purses back. <laughs> Look at you. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. See, I'm going to be the girl here. Nah, I don't think so. I, I mean it. Leave me alone! It sounds like you were thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> were you, Travis? Were you gonna say, or else? I'm wondering what comes after that. What you gonna do, little man? Uh, uh, I'll beat you up! Yeah, Travis! Think, Travis. I'm gonna destroy you and your friend here. Oh, you wanna go? Let's go! Uh. Let's go! Oh, get wrecked, mate. Get wrecked. Go on, Travis. Oh, Travis, are you even trying? my jaw. Bullshit, man. Just... Bullshit. This is bullshit, man. This is not what I signed up for. This oh. ain't over. You hear me? You'll get used to Diamond City security being unhelpful. Just ignore him like I do. Oh, Thank you. Um... Hi, Travis. Hi. There. Uh, Travis. Marvelous bone Whoa. structure. I can't believe Stop it. by the megastar. Good job, Travis. I knew you could do it. You had it in you. I can't. I can't believe it. You were right. Oh, I've. I've got things to do now. Listen, really, I I can't thank you enough. Thank you, Travis. All right, latest trap. <laughs> I think that went well. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely Ready is. for the next part of foolproof plan? Uh, bring it on. on. Good attitude. It's nice indeed. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Haven't now, seen her. I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her, and I see that sometimes she looks at him. Oh. If someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis. It might do him some good. Mm. Oh, that'll totally boost his confidence. 
You know, as long as it doesn't backfire horribly. So little faith. <laughs> it will work. Trust me. Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see Travis. And this will all be worth it. And uh -huh. you and I never talked about this, alright? Talked about what? I don't even know you. Whatever you it is, leave me out of it. Shut up. Alright, so I'm looking for a girl who works here. Man, Doc Crocker, you've got some... Is that meant to be a parody of... Doc Lewis? From Tell me if you need a room. Other the obvious game series. Hello, Becky. Alright, not you. Who the hell am I looking for here? Ever been up in the stands? No. Let's just say they can afford a lot of clothes. <laughs> You're gonna afford a lot of clothes. Look at me, I'm gonna afford a lot of clothes. Fuck you, bitch. I'm gonna afford clothes. What? I'm busy. I'm not even talking to you, man. I'm trying to find the girl who works here. You know, you'd really think it'd be easy to find someone. By the way, can, can we get some lighting back here? Oh, is this where they sleep? Join the railroad. Wake up, Commonwealth. Since they're not your enemy, they are victims in this war as well. What? True, they were created by the Institute, but they were created as slaves. Thinking, feeling, and dreaming beings, utterly oppressed by their tyrannical masters. Nice score. So join with us in fighting the real enemy, the Institute. Join the railroad. When you're ready for that next step, don't worry. We'll find you. Okay, so... Maybe one of the people in here is part of the railroad. Be interesting to see. Even though I'm a doctor, I admit I have a. No one cares. I am having trouble finding. Oh, okay. Small vice, a quick drink after work. I have a small vice, a quick drink after work. <laughs> it's weird that this would be a miscellaneous quest then going to a natural quest. But hey, I ain't complaining. All right, where you at, girl? Hey, Diamond. Diamond City Security. I'm not supposed to talk to people I don't know. Oh, well, it's a good, good outlook on life. Now, where is this lady? Huh. There's a lot of stuff to be harvested around here. Use my say, my god! Whoa, whoa, what was that shit? Miss? I'm on a break right now. Don't worry. I don't want anything. I don't want anything. Okay. Is there something else then? Yep, Travis. Actually, I'd like to talk to you about Travis, if you have a moment. Travis? Really? Did he... Did he mention me? Uh, I heard about the fight. Travis the was... What the fuck is that lying glitch? Well, he was brave. Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, absolutely. You should really pay him a visit. You think? Definitely. I mean, I definitely noticed him. Maybe... No. No, I couldn't just go over there. Yeah, you could. Look, Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him. And I think he likes you. Just go talk to him. Okay, I will. I'll go see him now. There we Thanks. go. You have a good... You have a nice... Nice, nice... Nice session in the hay, eh? Alright, in the meantime, I'm harvesting all your food. Yeah. Diamond City ain't gonna be the only one with a big farm. We're gonna have a really big farm. It's gonna be full of blackjack and hookers and it's gonna be great. Oh, hey, Gabe. Tate who added. Okay, that's enough Tate. Let's get some mutes. Because I think mute fruit heals more, more health, not more health, more. Uh... Some war purifier. Shang, what have I told you about keeping the lake clean? It'll make me shut down this little stand of yours. Every drop of water that comes out of that filter is one hundred percent pure. I was a legitimate businessman like myself, always thought of the natural advice regulations, huh? 
Oh. It's a health hazard, Shang. It's a profit hazard, is what I say. I manage the water, and I'll do it without your interference. Thank you very much. Man, that kid's got some guts. Just straight up yelling at the police, like, yo, fuck you. Solomon can hook you up. You know what, man? You've got a point. Four twenty blazer. Oh yeah. Kate liked it as well. Kate loves the four twenty blazer. Woo! Jet war. Okay. My fists. They are made of steel. Probably nothing, but some guy came into town, said he picked up a weird distress call in the Cambridge ruins. Not my problem. Based on the fact that it hasn't given me a quest, probably means I've already been there. Alright, let's go complete this quest. And we'll move on with our lives. Because Lord knows, don't deal with Travis in your shame. Oh. This is terrible. Um, I knew it. He was up to no good, and look what's happened now. You've what? got to help. I can't do it. You've got to help me. T take it easy. Take it easy. It'll be all right. Just tell me what happened. They took him. They took Vadim. Th those men, th the ones that messed with Travis, they came back. Said Vadim owed the money, that they had a deal. He, he wouldn't pay, and then they grabbed him and said that they would make him pay. And then they just... Drag them out! You have to do something. Please tell me you can do something. He paid me, didn't he? Uh, do you, do you know, where, know where they took him? No, I don't know. He's the one that uh, has always dealt with them. I've tried to avoid them. Travis might know. You should ask him, please. Why would I, I don't want anything to happen to Vadim. Okay. Let's talk to Travis. Okay, so somehow we've got to talk to Travis, get this guy's location without tiffin off Travis, but it was a sell? You're asking a lot of me, man. You're asking a lot. What do I look like, man? Oh, can someone talk god to you? No. I know an ex-raider when I see one. Make sure your friend plays nice inside the wall, you hear me? You're talking about me. If you're talking about Kate, yeah, she probably was an ex-raider. Actually, she no, she wasn't. She told us a sub story the other day. The other uh, uh, episode. Whether that episode was actually put up the other day, uh, we'll find out soon enough. But... Yeah. What's going on? Hey, Travis. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, kidnap There's been a kidnapping. It's Vadim. Don't, don't say things like that. That's not funny. Listen, I'm. You think this is a joke? <laughs> Wait, what? Really? Oh. Oh man, wow, is this, this is because of what happened, isn't it? It's, it's my fault. Doesn't Look, matter. Vadim's had dealings with those guys before. Why they took him doesn't matter. Getting him back does. You're right. We've got to get him back. Well, I still say it's his fault, but whatever. Look, yeah, I don't, Kate I don't, no really, sure. I, mean, <laughs> I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing, or in trouble, or whatever, then I'm gonna help get him back. Atta boy. Let's go. Alright. I'd welcome the help. Good. I didn't... I didn't want to have to argue about it with you. I've heard enough to know they're probably holed up at the old Beantown Brewery. Beantown Brewery. We've got to go in there, show them we mean business, and, and then we can bring Vadim back, and everything will be okay. Breaking my heart, here, Travis. Right? You're I'll, becoming a man. I'll get a gun and I'll meet you there. We'll settle this. They throw on some armor as well. I feel you do right some armor. That, that's great, Scarlet, but I am not. This is where he does the radio show, right? 
It definitely seems like it's somewhere where he does the radio show. This is actually his house. I know you haven't been around here that often, so... I'm on a break right now. Why does he have a pink dress? Leave, leave, please. Go. Go. Thank you. Let's just confirm. Just so everyone understands. Travis had this in his room. I'm out. Peace. 